Hi guys, Dorota Panitska, International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do a Christmas battles with the crystals placement something what I love the most, the blink blink nails and I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial but first of all check it out what it is yeah, so lots of blink also thank you so much guys for all your support, all your likes, comments and shares and if you're new in here hit the subscribe button as there is lots of tutorials almost actually every day we have been and uh, we have been spamming you with all those new tutorials uh, every day actually for all December and uh, most of the November as well and I hope uh, you really uh, like that we will try to continue as much as possible in January and the other months to come so let's start this tutorial <laughs> beautiful Christmas bubbles. I've got my tips uh, ready. I just need to scratch the surface of it. So just buffing it up and then we can apply the color and I'm going actually to go for one of my favorite colors. I don't know like what is wrong with me this year but I've got um, I don't know, pink Christmas uh, ideas, lots of them. So we are going to use the 155 sweet side color. And on my thumb I've got 158. It's like a really nice um, nude pinkish color. I've got actually a similar coat uh, in this color as well, like really beautiful. Cook it in and then do it the same background on the other nails. And we are going to do some crystal placement and the Christmas bubbles. I think it's lots of fun creating these designs. And if you try them, hashtag Dorota Palitska on Instagram. I would love to see your work too. And uh, once or sometimes we produce the video with the cameraman where I'm showing your work, guys, as well, inspired by this channel. Also, if you're new in here, Hit the subscribe button as there is lots of great tutorials on this channel how to sculpt the nails how to do different type of nail art something a little bit advanced something for a beginner uh, so everyone will find something different in here kick it in okay first one almost ready so i'm just applying a second coat of this beautiful color i love it like it's so nice and when you rub it, Mermaid effect on top of it, or Aurora pigment, like it looks absolutely stunning and beautiful. Cook it in. Then another one. And I'm using, because uh, some of you guys asked me, so I'm using a... Um, um, tip holder with the crystal on the bottom. They're actually quite comfy for doing um, practicing designs. And then I stick them in with the blue tag. Blue tag is something like a plastiline. Um, we can actually attach everything. Uh, and I find this uh, awesome stuff here in Scotland. Like I, I never knew it something like this exists in Poland. Because uh, also, by the way, like quite a lot of you asking me where I'm from. So I'm living in Scotland, Scottish Highlands to be exact, in UK. In Scotland and uh, I'm originally from Poland but we came here like about 15 years ago and that's my home now um, so yeah anyway this uh, tips are painted in this beautiful color so we was using 155 sweet side and this is my one of my favorite ones and now we are going to this design will feel lonely if I don't do something on it so I've got some sponge got some sponge and I'm going to do a quick nail art on it I'm going to replace it with the clean one or I've got some white I've got some white perfect so I will remove the blue one because we don't need it and they cool and I, I got them from Shinti's I hope I pronounced it right ah oh, blue one come back um, so that's Shinti's sponge, put it in there, and 
And when we're working with the sponge, it is very important that you've got, guys, a little bit of the cellar tape on the side to clean the, to clean the sponge. If you don't clean the sponge, then you will get so many f ugly, fluffy bits and pieces uh, and your design is not going to look nice at all. Okay, so I'm always putting a tiny bit of the tape. Also, the back of the form works perfectly for it as well. Clean my hands. You don't want the products over on your hands. And then clean my sponge, okay? So I'm just cleaning my sponge. And since this is winter, I'm cleaning my sponge really well. Since this is winter, I want to add some white feel to this design, okay? And uh, it looks awesome for different type of designs when you just dab it in, in the middle. Like, absolutely fantastic, like, uh, honestly, guys. Again, I'm just going into the tape. But what I'm going to do is I will add it on the edges. So it looks kind of like a wee snow. Because we are going to do a Christmas bubble in the middle. Okay, so do some places light or some places stronger. Just so we got those kind of frosty effect in there. Oh my goodness, I've got so many different ideas now after putting this on. Yeah, make some places like much lighter and some places much darker. So it does look really like a wee places with the snow. Cook it in. Do exactly the same on the next one. So touch, touch, touch with the sponge. And you can't go wrong. Like, imagine now just adding a tiny bit of the swirly beans and we've got another beautiful design. I love when the new ideas come in and after seeing some and doing some other things. Okay, kick this one in. <coughs> and do exactly the same. Tap, tap, tap. I didn't want it to do it on the white background just because I want to use the paint on French gel for the bow. So that's why I choose those beautiful pink. Cook it in. Okay, our next step is to paint a beautiful bow. And I'm going to use the paint on French gel and the D-liner brush. The D-liner brush is fantastic for like a very detailed artwork. And I love it. <clears throat> so make a small dot just so you know where your bow is going to be. And then paint the first part of the bow. Okay, so nice. And then exactly the same on the other side. And we can paint different types of bows like... Then here we are going to do a wave. And another one. Okay, so we've got cute bow. I'm going to twist it into your side, guys, so you can see it, because sometimes the light reflection is really bad, and especially when we're working with the shiny designs. Okay, so we have painted the bow. I'm going to cook it. Now, so our tips are slightly different. I'm going to paint another bow, but on more lower this time. And when you're painting the bow as well, it's better if you start from the old side going inside, so this way you've got a better shape. Okay, because you can, you can paint it thicker at the edges and you want really nice and thin to the middle. Okay, and again,
So we've got another bow. Hook it in. Remember, there has to be only a little bit product at the tip of your brush. So just a tiny wee bit. Okay, another bow paint, cook it in. Okay, after we have painted this part of the design with the bow, we can start uh, decorating our Christmas bow. And I will show you two different ways of doing it. Okay, one way when I'm using some glitter, actually awesome so i've got a 169 and it's a really beautiful color like i love it for this time of the year and i had my nails and i'm definitely winter time i think next time i'm getting my nails done with this color it's amazing like absolutely amazing so i'm picking up this color and we are going to paint the bowl uh, the christmas bubble so make it at a decent size this glitter is just amazing I'm also checking how the light is reflecting so you can guys see it better okay and then cook it inside Now on this one, we are doing uh, things slightly different. So I'm starting applying the crystals straight away. Base gel. So that's the upvoted base gel. And the crystals last absolutely fantastic with this base, base gel. All the way from the top, nice line with the base gel. A blob of the base gel in the middle. And now we are going to stick in those crystals in here. So in the middle, I'm going to go for a slightly bigger one. And then on the top, a tiny one. And also we need lots of caviar beads. So I've got some caviar beads in here. I'm shooting with them. Old brush, and old brush is best actually for picking up the crystals. For like a caviar beads. So we're creating a chain with the cover bits. I didn't put the top coat, I didn't do anything yet to this design. 
we have only painted the background and straight away into the crystals. Okay, make sure they are in nice position. And then once you're happy, freeze it. Don't do too many crystals at the one time. And then on this one. So on this one, we have placed the background first. Uh, just so it is easier for us to see where the Christmas bubble is. And then on the other one, we are going to place a really uh, beautiful one in a different shape, just so it's not rounded for a change. Again, those caviar beads. And the caviar beads, especially the larger size, so they are kind of pretty large size, I would suggest you do only a couple and then you freeze them. Don't do too many because they will run away from the tips. Okay, awesome. Now your imagination needs to imagine where is the Christmas bubble. Okay, or maybe this one we will make it longer. Yeah. <coughs> And uh, we are going to apply more crystals. So I'm going to have a crystals there, 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 and there. And I want to go for those pearly ones and some pinky ones. Oh yes, I want some pinky ones. And the tiny wee pearls. I'm going to love this design and I'm going to, I wish to have it on my nails as well now. It's so beautiful. Okay, place all those Christmas bubbles, uh, Christmas Swarovski crystals in to create your bubble. You can, uh, you need to also imagine the shape of it. So this is a technique like which is more harder to do it, uh, but I know my shape. I really know my shape, so. I'm going to use also some clear crystals as well. I think it will be nice. So this is definitely the harder way of, of um, doing it. And then one more pearl. That looks absolutely fantastic. Wow. So nice. Okay, cook it in. <laughs> and here, because we've got this old line, applying the crystals is very easy. So much fun actually creating those type of designs.
and away pearls. I've got still so many guys different ideas like to show you, but obviously there is not enough time just before Christmas. So I think you'll have to watch me next year as well. We place the caviar beads. And remember, because they are rounded shape, they can kind of run away from the design. So I'm really getting them into the straight line. I find that the smaller the caviar beads, the easier they are work with. They're pretty large and I really don't like them. <laughs> okay, cook it in. And the reason for it is because they are running away. <laughs> okay, this design, we can move on into the next step. So I'm just going to apply the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. So high shine no wipe top gel through the entire design. My top coat is a bit dirty from the previous color. Like make sure you apply it everywhere around the crystals. And then cook it. So this bubble starts looking nice as well. I really like all those crystals placement. It's so therapeutic to do it. Okay, so we've got another small petal in here going on. And you want to, I want to use some of those small pearls on this part of the design as well. Because we have painted this uh, bubble uh, with the glitter, it is so much easier to decide where we want the crystals. Because we've got something to follow. Okay, the pearly one. I also need a small caviar bead. Just to fill up those empty spaces because you want to have those rounded shape of the Christmas bubble in there. And for caviar beads, always like a pretty old brush. Squeeze it, because they are starting running away again. Now, this one is almost ready, but I want to also sprinkle it with some glitter. Okay, so we are going to use a high shine no wipe top gel. That's a base. High shine no wipe top gel on the side on my mixing palette and then with the old brush I'm going to fill up the places where I want the glitter to be actually not even old brush but a new brush so I want to be pretty precise
see any missing places this is something which is not visible in the camera but what I'm doing is I'm painting the shape of the Christmas bubble I want with the top coat just so we can have a slightly different type of the glitter going on there Okay, and then pick up the glitter. So the one I'm going to use is the Pixel from the Indigo. And this one is a Snow White. And then sprinkle it with this glitter. Okay. Remove the excess of it and cure it. It looks a bit messy. But once we finish this design, it will look nice and pretty. And it will give us completely different results to uh, this Christmas bubble. Yeah, this one is actually cooked and ready as well. So a high shine no wipe top gel. I will just stick one more gem in the middle. Go really nicely and well around the crystals. And then cook it. Then the first one is ready. So I'm taking my brush and remove excess of the glitter. Okay, this glitter works a little bit like a chrome, so I'm just going to, it's really hard to take it off, so I'm just going to take a tiny bit of the UV cleanser and clean it all well, just so it does comes off from the top coat. And what is fantastic, it gives completely different, it's looking almost like thousands of the little gems apply it into the nail. so that's that's this Christmas bubble I need to really clean it uh, the tip I've got one sp the sparkle there uh, and two there that's why it's really important that you use the snow wipe top gel so you can easily you can easily clean it uh, this glitter because it's kind of works a little bit like a, like a chrome you can see it like it works a bit chromey but I love it like because it's it gives completely different results than the glitter which is encapsulated kind of inside okay and this one is ready as well so you can see we have created two completely different christmas bubbles and i definitely preferred this look because it looks like all the tips with the crystals um, and we don't have to use as as many of them so i hope guys you have enjoyed watching this tutorial uh glittery hacks and bye for now